Well, good afternoon again. We are at day three of the Special Libraries Conference here in Cleveland, Ohio. I am sitting here with Kevin Adams. Kevin is one of the candidates for uh, Vice President, President elect of SLA. Kevin, uh, first off, where are you from? Tell us a little bit about the type of information work that you do, and then we'll talk a little bit about your thoughts about SLA and visions for the future. All right, thank you very much, Eugene, for the opportunity. Um, my name's Kevin Adams. I'm from the Institute of Environmental Science and Research in Christchurch in New Zealand. And um, as, my as the description title says, I'm an environmental sciences librarian, but that's actually quite a very large subject area. Like, for example, it covers environmental science, but it covers food safety, water microbiology and chemistry, public health, um, radiation science. Um, we have a social science component to ourselves. and because when they created the organization they didn't know where to put the forensic science services we also have um, the forensic science services in New Zealand and I do a lot of work in that area as well so it's kind of a very large portfolio of information um, we've just started doing work in microplastics and uh, that's kind of some an area I've had to learn sort of completely new but it's kind of the biggest big thing in environmental issues now with the stuff in water so as I said it's a pretty large and interesting portfolio that kind of changes pretty rapidly over the years. Now, uh, tell me, how did, how did you start getting involved in SLA? How, how far back do you go, if you're willing to reveal that? <laughs> also, um, as a candidate, what are some of the things that you see in terms of the visioning and the, re, the, re, the redirection of the, of the organization that uh, you feel are, are necessary for us to really thrive? And I don't mean just survive, but thrive as an organization. And, and given the fact that this transformation can't just be done by you know, the paid staff, the volunteer board and officers, but it has to include all of us. Well, I've actually been a member since 1996, which goes a long way. Um, and I joined mainly because uh, I'd actually had a pamphlet that I had been given by someone when I worked in London, who was at that time, uh, I believe, a director of uh, SLA. But I, I looked into it thinking, you know, this is the sort of organization I should belong to. But unfortunately, I never did anything about it at the time. And then when I got a job back in New Zealand, um, I looked at it and had a think about it, looked at the website, because it was a year when things were just starting to become on the web. And given that I was a, uh, an information consultant at the time and there weren't a lot of us around, but I looked and say, for example, my first division was business and finance and they had other divisions which were dedicated to subject matters. Um, and I just thought this is, and I mean, at the time we had a special libraries group within our national association, but it was quite small. Um, it didn't, I, I, I mean, I found it useful, but given... And also, the other thing at the time was I was a member of a, an email group called Business Librarians, and a lot of those men, people were members of SLA. And so basically, um, connecting through with them and then attending my first conference and sort of finding all these like-minded people who were doing the same sorts of things as me, had the same sorts of problems, being able to have face-to-face -face conversations. Um, in those days, our Info Expo Hall was much larger than it is now, but you had all these vendors with these products, and I was able to talk to all these people. I just found myself at home in it. And then as I've moved on from that particular position to I'm an hour in my as an environmental sciences librarian, again, you know, I'm a member of the solo division, the now what's now fear, which used to be the fan division and e environmental resources management division, the government division. Um, I'm still a member of business and finance, even though I don't really do that much work in that area these days. But all of those divisions have helped me in some you know, in their separate ways, you know, um, whether it be connecting with people, um, sending an email out or now to the Connect th Forum um, on uh, a particular question that I have or if I want to find an article that I find, can't find anywhere else, um, or the reverse, helping someone in the exactly the same position. And to me, it's just, you know, the people, the networks I've made, the friendships I've made over the years and the help that I've had through, the, um, through my years as a professional have been invaluable. I mean, I, I really couldn't put an actual, you know, like, you know, we, we're asked to put a value on our profession or asked to the value of what we do for people, but I honestly couldn't because it's just been so invaluable to me over the years. And it continues to be so. I mean, I continue to learn things, I continue to make networks and people, etc., etc. And as I said, I, I, I wouldn't be where I am today as a librarian without it. To your question about the future, um, the two areas where I see that we need to concentrate on, although they're just two of many I think that we need to concentrate on, one is our membership, 
and specifically the new professionals and the students that are out there um, for two reasons. One is um, we need to be, be we need to be giving them a reason to stay or come to the organisation in the first place and stay to it. And the reason is that because basically one, they're the, they're the future of our profession because people such as myself are not going to be around for a, a long time. Um, and we need to understand where they're going and what they need out of us because they might not even have the word librarian in their title when they come out of library school or the jobs that they get. And if we don't um, give them a reason and give them um, make them see the value in our organisation, then they will go away and we will suffer because we're not getting new people coming in and replenishing the organisation, giving us some new ideas, um, you know, maybe new divisions we haven't thought of yet. Um, so the membership in that re re part is very important and then of course you know where are our current members going what are they what are they doing what is, where are they working in you know how can we help them in their careers as I have been helped and others have been helped um, so that's an important thing and the other one is um, making our organization fit for purpose and that just doesn't mean you know getting the programming right getting the you know you know other things right but things like for example like, you know where I think we're going to be um, hearing about a new structure for the organization as it comes it, it comes to pass and if that's going to be something that's going to save us money make it things more efficient then you know we need to be looking at that we need to be looking to change our organization so that we can survive and that doesn't just mean as, as you mentioned you know the board or individuals or divisions it's the whole of the organization you know we everybody needs to be looking at how can they help us move that forward um, and if you know because if we keep thinking about the past if we keep thinking oh well you know that worked back in the day why aren't we doing it again um, I'm afraid we're a bit doomed because we can't keep looking to the past we have to be moving forward we have to be thinking well okay how can we make this, this association relevant how can we make it you know as I said fit for purpose for people um, how can we make you know get people involved I mean again you know we know one of the reasons that you know something some it becomes the divisions that are emerging um, because they're not getting the membership or they're having problems with their leadership and you know it's sad to see others go but if it's if it's going to be more efficient or it's going to be make our make the association better um, everybody needs to get on board with that and I, and I think you know we need to be you know it, I'm, and I'm not saying you know we need to be you know completely in, 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 in with boots and all about what's going to happen I mean we need to be critiquing we need to be feeding back to the association things that we don't think are going to work but in general I think we need to be positive about them um, uh, uh, sort of you know get on board with them and and make sure that you know this association survives because at the moment we're we're kind of you know things are looking a little bit gloomy and I think everybody needs to you know pull together and actually sort of you know move forward with what's being suggested and hopefully and and that will um, you know push us forward in the future great Kev, well Kevin thanks for taking the time uh, I'll see you around the convention, enjoy the convention, and thanks much for watching. You're welcome. Thanks very much, Eugene.